Hi, and welcome to another ink review. Today we're looking at another line of inks from the Blackstone uh, Ink Company here in Australia, made in Queensland. Uh, this is the uh, Sense of Australia line of inks, uh, all designed to to reflect a certain uh, smell, particularly sort of uh, outback fragrances uh, here in Australia. Like the uh, previously reviewed Colours of Australia range, these inks come in the uh, polypropylene uh, plastic bottles which are reusable and uh, recyclable and they're incredibly sturdy and heat resistant so they make really actually they actually make really great ink bottles uh, so it's really nice to see uh, them being used uh, here for uh, by this uh, brand Blackstone just run you through uh, the colors of this uh, collection now and we start with Australian bush which I previewed on my colors colors of Australia review which uh, is linked down below then we get blue cypress which is a really nice bluey green with some fabulous uh, red sheen we then get blue gum uh, slightly slightly bluer uh, close to say a fire and ice uh, Robert Oster fire and ice sort of blue brown baronia which is a really interesting uh, honey uh, sort of coloured ink we then get red Kunzia, which is a, a nice sort of almost pinkish red and then wild orange which is a really vibrant uh, red orange uh, sort of colour and has probably for me uh, the most vivid scent of any of the uh, the inks in this range so as you can see they come in these uh, 30 mil bottles and they're really great value this like this company make their inks to be um, really well priced and really sort of great quality for uh, the for the for the price that you're paying they a little disclaimer after I wrote this review I did uh, have a, a little bit of trouble cleaning some of the inks out of the pens uh, I had left them for a week um, after writing the review and they had started to um, well go gunky in the pen and clag up uh, around the feed and the nib uh, where it wasn't quite so airtight so just something to be aware of with these inks uh, but really they don't that doesn't reflect on the performance and while it was just a little trickier to clean I still think they're really well behaved uh, inks let's look at some uh, chromatography uh, we'll start with Australian bush which you've seen uh, already uh, it's a really nice uh, chromatography with a dusty blue through to the nice sort of greens in the middle and then a really lovely yellow this gives the, the ink a lot of depth uh, particularly that sort of dusty blue in the bottom uh, and some of the things I really like about this ink Blue Cypress is, well, what you'd expect, a nice sort of turquoise blue shade all through to a nice sort of yellow uh, coming through at the top, which once again brings up that hint of green. We've then got Blue Gum. Now, put these two next to each other, uh, not just uh, alphabetically, but also because they are very similar. Like I think the base colour, that base sort of turquoise, is very similar. Uh, this has got slightly darker hues uh, in it and much less yellow. Uh, brown Baronia is really interesting. Uh, there's a very little brown in there. There's a sort of a hint of sort of a purpley uh, brown and lots of yellow. And it's not a particularly saturated ink uh, as the uh, chromatography there shows. Red uh, Kunzia is a lovely, as I said, pinky red. Uh, and I think it matches the Kunzia plant beautifully in terms of the colour um, as well. And there's a hint of, of yellow just at the top, but that really vibrant sort of pink red is, is the strongest colour through there. And then we get Wild Orange, which once again uses a, a pinky red as its base, but then has a lot of yellow. Uh, and that is seen in the lighter shading of the ink when it's uh, on the page as well. It's a really quite lovely ink to use. Okay, let's look at the uh, written test 
now. And this was done on 80 gram uh, rhodia paper and done with a broad uh, Lamy nib. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just sort of run through uh, the each ink uh, and you can sort of just see how I feel about uh, them individually and we'll talk about the line. Just to start with, X factor for this uh, line I have allocated to the scent, seeing as though it is the scents of Australia line. So things like Sheen, which would normally uh, be considered an X factor, particularly on an ink like Blue Gum or Blue Cypress, uh, has here been uh, reallocated to the, the scent uh, of the ink. So let's start with Australian Bush. Uh, the saturation of this ink is excellent, it has a lot of depth, uh, and I really, as I said, it's one of the things I really like about this ink. Shading is fair, it's sort of a flat ink, uh, but that's also quite appealing in, in some way. Uh, sheen is low, the flow of this ink is, is excellent, uh, and the dry time is pretty good. Now, in terms of water resistance, I'll come back and look at the line in general, but uh, just to sort of, on this one, it was fairly low, uh, which is, once again, shown in the cleaning being good. Bleeding and feather is excellent, as you'll see uh, across the line, it's it's pretty pretty excellent. So we'll see that when we come to a look at it on some other paper. Um, so I've given this ink a score of 4.5 out, out of 5, based on, on these criteria, um, you know, with a 5 for colour and a 4 across the board for the rest of it. And I think that matches pretty well how I, how I, the impression I get from the ink or my personal uh, feeling about the ink. Uh, and as you can see, actually across the line, they, they line up pretty, pretty well. It's a, it's a, it's a nice sort of consistent um, set of inks. Blue Cypress, saturation, once again, excellent. This, this sort of bluey green is just sensational. Uh, shading, once again, it's Fair, it's not, not great, but fair. Uh, sheen is high. This is a high, high sheening ink. It's beautiful. Um, in fact, there, are, there was a, an early swatch I did of this ink uh, that basically you could only see the, prime, the, the sheen color. It was quite remarkable. Uh, flow is excellent. Dry time is good. Water resistance is low. Cleaning is good. And bleed and feather, both excellent. So this gets fours and fives across the, the board for scoring, uh, averaging out to a 4.5, and once again, that gets the same for the impression. Blue gum, uh, once again, excellent saturation, uh, a really deep uh, ink uh, with some good shading. On some paper, this ink actually sh um, shaded fairly well. I tried this whole range in a number of pens uh, and different sort of nib options, everything from the... Uh, Lamy Broad here to Lamy Fine. I tried a couple of them uh, in um, uh, in Faber Castell Loom, uh, as well as some sort of uh, more budget friendly uh, pens that I had bought on eBay, and they all performed fairly well. Really, the only one that had any uh, problem was uh, actually a Wild Orange, but that was only uh, in some of the finer, uh, drier pens. But yes, so Blue Gum had some really nice uh, shading on a couple of uh, papers. Sheen, really high, uh, once again, same as Blue Cypress. The dry time uh, was uh, good, uh, and the wetness of this ink is excellent. Uh, water resistance is low, cleaning is good, and once again, excellent uh, for bleeding and feathering. Now, Brown Baronia... Uh, Saturation is okay. This this didn't perform as well across the board in, in different pens. It does need a wetter pen to get some of that sort of saturation uh, to come through. And the she, uh, shading and sheen are both low. Uh, but the, the wetness is, is good uh, and the dry time is good. Uh, low water resistance. Um, fair for cleaning. This is uh, this this was a little tougher uh, occasionally to sort of to, to clean off. Uh, uh, but once again, bleeding and feathering both excellent. This one averages out to a three point five out of five uh, out of five in terms of the score. Uh, but the impression is a four when it's used in a wet pen. It's actually a really nice, as you can see here, a really nice looking ink. I, I actually don't think I mentioned the score for blue gum. They got fours across the um, a board there. Really, uh, a really solid ink as well. Now red Kunzia. This one was. Uh, 
interesting. It's a really well saturated ink uh, and quite thick in a lot of ways as well. Shading and sheen were both uh, low, but it is quite a wet ink. It flows very, very well. Uh, dry time was fair, and water resistance for this one was actually fair. Um, the cleaning was good, and feathering was excellent. There was none, but this was the only ink that really had any instances of bleeding uh, on any paper, uh, on some sort of lower uh, end papers. So, uh, colour gets a 4.5 and then 4s for the rest. Uh, I actually really liked using this ink in a good pen on good paper. This ink is really, really great to use and it looks fantastic. That colour is so vibrant and beautiful. Wild Orange. Uh, once again, excellent saturation. These guys have done an amazing job on the saturation of these inks. Um, Shading is fair. There are instances where you do get some nice shading from this ink, uh, but the sheen is, once again, low. Wetness is good. Uh, dry time is, once again, good. Uh, low water resistance, uh, but really good cleaning and excellent for bleeding and feathering. Uh, so it got a, a 4.5 uh, based on the on the scoring. I think, uh, as you can see, this is the this one and Blue Cypress are the only two inks that got fives for the X Factor, which I'll go into uh, shortly. Uh, and so 4.5 and 4.5 for my impression. Actually, re this is the one ink out of the whole line where every time I took the lid off a pen and you get that sort of uh, citrusy sort of uh, smell, which is interesting because the Australian wild orange isn't a citrus. Uh, it's not related to an orange at all, But and I've never smelt the actual plant, but this ink had a lovely sort of citrusy smell about it and this was the only one that really every time I opened the, the pen I'd really enjoy that uh, that smell. So if we look at the whole line um, the saturation of the line is excellent and the shading is pretty pretty good too. Sheen when you think of a couple of uh, these inks uh, is quite remarkable and things like the flow and the wetness uh, 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 and the dry time are all pretty pretty good. Bleeding and feathering, as I said, is excellent across this whole line. Uh, and they're not terribly difficult to clean out, providing they don't start to sort of clag up, as I said uh, at the start of the review. So firstly, let's have a look at uh, the water resistance of this line. So as you can see, I've done a, a grid drop water drop test, and then I wrote numbers and have uh, swabbed across uh, the numbers with a, a wet cotton bud. Because it, well, you can see they all were highly affected. Australian Bush was the only one that sort of managed to keep m terribly much of the detail, uh, and things like brown baronia really didn't deal with it well. Most were completely eradicated with the the swab, and most lost most of the detail with uh, the water drop as well. But what's interesting about Australian Bush is that it didn't actually. It, what was left behind uh, was sort of uh, an interesting sort of brownie colour, which isn't even that apparent in the. Uh, chromatography uh, either so it's a it's an interesting interesting sort of water test there let's now look at this uh, this range on a few different uh, types of paper we'll start with um, a high-end paper this is the Tomal River 52 gram paper as you can see the sheen is just popping uh, on a couple of those uh, inks I think uh, they look great on this paper if you're going to get shading, if you're going to get sheen, this is where you'll get it, uh, and you get it very, very easily. Uh, in terms of how it behaves, we'll look at both Rhodia and the uh, Toma River. Toma River, you get a lot of ghosting, uh, but that, it is incredibly uh, light paper. Uh, but you don't really get bleed on either of those those papers, which is fabulous. Let's look at it on some cheaper paper, and we've got it on the Reflex... 80 gram copy paper, which is the standard Australian sort of copy paper. I think the inks look great on this page. The colours are really nice, and you get much more variation in the colour on this than you do on less absorbent paper. Uh, but, yeah, no sheen or anything like that, um, even from the high sheening blue cypress. Actually, you do get a little bit there in the writing, but but not, really, not on the, the swabbing. Some bleed of the red kunzia there, a uh, tiny little bit from Australian bush, but not enough to worry about. But apart from that, it's really well uh, behaved. 
on the lowest pa quality paper I, I tried it on, which is the Reflex, not Reflex, uh, Spirex uh, lecture pad, this was a super absorbent and it's just soaked it up. Um, there's very little shading, there's, there's no sheen, uh, but only on the swabbing, uh, we see a lot of bleed of the swabbing of course, but points uh, from the other ink, but as you can see Red Kunzia here has actually uh, come through sort of quite clearly. So let's talk about the X Factor. Now these inks are centered inks. Uh, and while the colours also represent some what represent the uh, the plant they're uh, named after, the the smells are mixed in that respect. If we start with Australian bush, it's got an, a really interesting uh, eucalyptusy sort of smell, which I think is really appropriate. But it's also got this sort of sweetness, which makes it quite a unique smell and and really rather pleasant in a lot of ways blue cypress uh just smells like christmas to me it's a really uh beautiful uh smelling ink it's got sort of this this the scent of, sort of pine and fir trees and and that sort of stuff which is really really pleasant uh, and I actually gave that one a 5 for the X Factor because it, it is such a nice smell. Blue gum, yep, it smells like a gum tree. It's, once again, it's that sort of eucalyptus -y sort of smell. It's not unpleasant, it's, but it's not, uh, it's not, a, it's not a, a strong reminiscent smell in a lot of ways. Now, brown baronia, the, the plant itself is considered one of the nicest smelling uh, plants and this has an interesting sort of vague lemon sort of smell to it, but it also has a... This is the only one where the, the, the smell is slightly uh, un, unpleasant or... I don't know, it's hard, it's hard thing to describe it. You can definitely smell the plant life, but it's not really a... Uh, it's, not a it's not a strong... It doesn't, it doesn't evoke anything uh, for me. Red Kunzia is such a beautiful sweet smelling flower scent um it really smells like a native a native uh flower and that's really really nice and it's a great inclusion in the line in that respect because it is very different from the rest of the the scents in this in this uh in this line of inks wild orange as i said for me is probably the mo the smell that i enjoyed the most it's got a lovely sort of citrusy flowery smell to it it's really pleasant and it's a smell that I could very happily have every time I opened up a pen. In terms of the overall scoring of the line, uh, Colours 4.5, Performance 4, X Factor across the board is 4 and Value is definitely a 4. These, are, these aren't expensive inks. Um, they're available on Just Right uh, and other uh, online retailers. Um, and you can buy the whole set for the cost of two bottles of, of uh, another ink, really. Um, it's The value is absolutely phenomenal. The overall score is a four, but I actually enjoyed using these inks. Uh, and I think you would too. I think a lot of people would. Those fragrances, but also the colours are so vibrant. Uh, and they're just beautiful uh, inks. So these get a... For me, the impression of the line is a 4.5. It's, it's really beautiful. Just as I said at the start, watch that you uh, either keep the, the pens in use or you clean them regularly. You just don't want it to sort of clag up like it did a little bit. So this was the uh, Scents of Australia line of inks from Blackstone. A really lovely range uh, of inks. Uh, some beautiful colours, some lovely sheen. Uh, and the, well, the X factor of those, the scents of the ink is really pleasant as well. So support Australian brands uh, and get out and try these these inks. They're certainly worth uh, investigating. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notification button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to drop me a message. Uh, you can either do that here on YouTube or at my blog, which is linked below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you've got 
products you'd like me to look at or if you've got any questions. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.